Hi Libra, welcome to your uh, mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of August. As usual, I have two special sales offer available and both are inspired in this radiant Leo theme season we are currently on so if you would like to know more details about those offers or any other of my services again just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the paypal link which is also down below as well as my facebook and instagram page so libra i feel like some of you are trying your best during this mid-august to keep things going to keep things working and you want the state it's like some of you libras are in the stage where you, there's a lot of things that are being developed and you don't want to lose um steam you don't want to um you know it's like you don't want to go back to an energy where things we're not being, uh, you know, unfold this way. So you want the unfold process to keep happening because I feel like some of you are very stressed with the timing. It feels like some of you are on time. You have like a timing or you have some sort of deadline. You have some sort of pressure imposed on you, particularly when it comes to matters of projects or work or things that you must take care of right now, urgency matters, priorities. Uh, in which it feels like you have this timeline that it's tight or where you're feeling like the pressure of time strongly. So I feel like some of you are very dedicated to a project or to something you have planned and you're still planning here to take far with you. Some of you, this plan or whatever you are considering to do forward um, is something that you will take again to the end so i feel like you're also either you have recently committed to do something that now you want to follow through so you don't want to uh you know um give up on it or back away you want to proceed this plan proceed this decision to the end of it um either you have recently committed to do something like this or you are uh doing so during uh mid-august even though i feel like some of you again you're going on um you're 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 tagging tagging along with something that even though feels inspiring and it feels like it can open here are possibilities for you uh that it can open doors for you that it can open here something uh that again in the end in the finishing line you will uh benefit from even though that there's this acknowledgement that this um in the long run is positive for you you're also aware of the tension because it challenges the seven of wands so and the two is about partnerships as well so this could be about a creative or business partnership a friendship or even um you know a loved one um but in which there is more than just uh, the energy of love itself here is something more about planning for your future planning together for your future or the future of something you have in common uh, for Libras, that this is about the partnership, there might be something where there is some ego clashes. So there's your way of seeing things, how they should work, how they should be done. And there's your partner, right? Way of seeing. And I feel like there are some temper clashes, some ego clashes that might be a part of your mid-August as well, not only coming from this energy of plans, even in your personal relationships, I feel like there's a lot of criticism, there's a lot of fingers being pointed here, there's a lot of discussions and debates when it comes to um, the way you're living your life, the way you're choosing um, to go after situations, the things you're saying, the things you are i feel like some of you are being criticized by who you are but you're also following it falling into this trap where you're projecting the same energy to others so you might as well be very critical during this mid-august 
of others, of their personalities, of their ways of doing things. It's like I feel this this nagging irritation with some of you Libras during mid August. You might really have a short patience. You might have a short um you know, mental space to deal with what you consider to be irrelevant matters or matters that are just not of your liking. And I feel like some of you during mid-August have a lot of this, like, strong... The, the things you like, the things you are attracted to, you are strongly passionate about them. And the things you don't like, you're also strongly passionate and opinionative of it so there's a side of this libra energy that is unusual for libras that are coming out like you're like saying a lot of things you're having a lot of opinions and with a lot of um you know conviction affirmation almost aggressive uh projection of your of your of your intentions and thoughts and i say that because you might be unintentional you might not be purposefully wanting to come to come um along you know in that way to others as being forceful or so strong willed that sometimes you it could it could it's like the feeling here is like sometimes you might be running over um boundaries and someone else's you know energy and you might not be aware of it but it's kind of running over someone you're running over people with the the way you're projecting again your uh opinions and also, others are doing this to you. So I keep getting like there's this mutual effect where you're doing this and then you're receiving that back and then you're doing it and then you're receiving that back. So there's a lot of bickering here. Some a tense atmosphere might be a part of your mid-August Libra. I also feel like some of you... Uh, you have a lot to take care of. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of responsibility on you. And so you just want quiet. You just want quiet. And if people around you are giving you a hard time, if people around you are not there to help you with this, all this work you have on on, on hands, uh, you're like sh uh, shutting them out. I feel like you're really shutting doors. So you might be shutting doors on friends or family. It's like... Um, not wanting to deal with people that are a source of problems and drama and stress or people that do not just let you be doing the things you need to do to keep moving with your life. And I see like this shutting door effect might be something that some of you are really, um, really doing and considering doing even more like to really uh, perhaps cut off here some relationships i see some of you libras cutting off relationships some of it temporarily some of it uh permanently for the sake of your own you know the well-being um of your own life and the progress of your life i feel like there are some relationships libra with the two of wands here some of them are fruitful, some of them are to take to the future, some of them are not. And if you are wondering who's who, what, who is to come with you and who is to stay behind, I feel like during this mid-August you're also going to see that. You're going to be able to recognize who's a supporter, right? Who's a fan and who's a hater. Well, of course, when I say this, is an energy of who is trying to help you who is trying to motivate you who is trying to give you um you know honest advice and honest communication coming from a place of love or who is just doing so from a place of you know uh, anger or jealousy or just unwillingness to compromise and willingness to see um you know, with other perspective than their than the perspective of their own self. So there is a lack here of compromise and a difficulty in Libras seeing from the other side and the other side seeing from Libra's perspective. And obviously, many times this translates in problems. This translates in relationships falling apart or in relationships just um, going through a stormy period. Some of you, I feel like you know that you're not on the right about something, but you're having a hard time because of pride, 
or defensiveness again, the need to affirm yourself, the need to have your boundaries set in place, the need to push back what you see as an attack. You might know that you are in the wrong about something, but you're having a hard time uh, dealing with it on your own self, like processing your faults, your mistakes, because you're taking them as, again, something too personally, something that is more than what it is. It's just a matter of acknowledging something here where you uh, an apology, you know, might fix the situation or you just confessing something might fix the situation, but you're, you're not wanting to give in. You're not wanting to say, I'm sorry, or say I'm wrong or say anything that puts you in a position <clears throat> that it's not this one, because the seven of ones can be, have a lot of that super, su superiority complex. Like I'm beyond everyone else, no one gets me, but uh, that's fine. I'm gonna be on my own. And in reality, sometimes this, this makes you push back people or push back situations that love you and that want the best for you. It's like a matter of seeing yourself again in the mirror and recognizing that nobody's perfect and admitting a, a flaw. Admitting a flaw does not make you uh, flawed. Okay, it does not make you less interesting, lovable, <clears throat> amazing person, all of that. It's just admitting that we as human beings, we make mistakes. We make things that many times, you know, are out of place, but it's part of this experience of life. And so I feel like some of you Libras are struggling in coming to this point where you admit um, your wrongs. It could also be always that someone is also struggling in confessing this to you. I see that some of you, again, you have so much in your hands, like you so many things and they are heavy and you're trying your best to, even though they're heavy and this heaviness feels like this energy of responsibility, like you have so much on you that deals with the archetype here of responsibility and authority. It's like, you need to be here it's the energy of the father as well. It's interesting. Like there's something here about you are like holding here all the responsibility for something. And the father archetype deals with that, deals with responsibility, authority, high demand, um, and the need to be respected due to the work, right? Due to the workload um, that the father energy tends to take on. So you want to be respected because, again, the energy of the father is here. So you want to have people in your life, family, wise, friends, wise, and an intimate, um, in an intimate setting to respect you. And when you're not feeling respected, this is when the problematic, I feel, energy comes along and the divergence comes along where you might not be expressing this need of yours to be respected and taken taken with you know um taken seriously considering that again you want people to perhaps ad see in you something right and handle you in the way that you yourself might still struggle to to it's like some of you want some people in your life to respect you in a way um, in which you yourself might not be respecting yourself. So you yourself might still have problems with this father archetype, with the authority, with the heavy duties, res with the responsibilities you have. You might still struggle in feeling okay with it, in respecting and honoring the father inside. So when that's the case, obviously there's going to be manifestations, there are going to be mirror to that. And so some of you just taking consideration that there are situations during this mid-August that are more than what they appear to be. Some of them appear just to be, you know, people that are, you know, angry, frustrated with you, people that do not get you, people that disrespect you. Uh, and then you get angry as well. And then you go into that mode as well, rage mode or criticizing mode. But there's more to it. And I keep getting like some of you need to also address the situation in which the way you want others 
to treat you has to start with the way you treat yourself. How So how is the way that you're treating yourself currently? And how is that a match or not to what you're encountering on your outside? I feel like some of you are very devoted during this, this time as well to your future. So your eyes is on the future, your heart is on the future, your whole soul being is in the future. Like you just want to focus in getting there, getting to the sun energy, getting to the happiness, to the success, to the establishment of something in which then you can finally breed and then you can finally let go of all of this burden and all of this stress. So you're very focused and inspired in the future. But meanwhile, you're still dealing with the present. So right, you, you want to be in the future for some of you to avoid uh, the problems you have. But still, you're still in the present time. And in the present time, there's a lot of work, including relationships, including, you know, uh, communication barriers that are also arising here between you and others that are creating a little bit of a difficult atmosphere um, to be a part of. Yes, but it's like you need to go through it. It's not to move away from it or run away from it. Because I feel like, like for many of you Libras, this is happening in your personal uh life so your closest friends or your family or your loved ones so it could be hard to run away from tension and arguments and confrontation uh because it's people that you you love or people you care about and you cannot just you know run away from easily so i hope you have a great mid-month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon